Hey guys, and welcome back to Them and Us. Now, I've just loaded this save, and something rather strange happened. We encountered another glitch, but for some reason, what happened is as soon as I loaded the save, the game showed me the good ending. Yep, um, so... I've seen the good ending, or should I say ending two of five, but I, I and I now have a clear file to load, but I haven't actually completed the game yet. In fact, if we go to achievements now, modern player, finish the game in over the shoulder mode. Uh, <laughs> okay, but if we go down here, all the achievements for actually like fighting the end boss and all of that kind of stuff are, are still locked. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I actually genuinely thought we were completely screwed here because I was like, oh shit. So my last save is just gonna show me the good ending every time. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> so what I did, I, I actually skipped most of it. Um, but the game gave us an E rating. I didn't even know there was a rating in this game. It didn't tell me why we got an E rating. Probably because the amount of times we saved the game. Um, but but yeah, uh, okay, that, that was an interesting glitch to just show me the good ending. Does that mean we're on the path to getting the good ending? I, I don't know, <laughs> but that was weird. Anyway, we pick up as Alicia. We have just returned of sorts to this new area and look where we are. We're on the opposite gate of where we originally bumped into Paul. Now let's go and have a little look around this place, shall we? Well, this is certainly new ground for us. If we come up here, blood, indeed. Now, this is going to set us on the path for getting the good ending. Um, but apparently if you do this, you don't have to... I, I, I don't know what's going on here, guys. That, that was really weird. Anyway, let's grab some bandages. We have a friendly skeleton there. Excerpt from the Journal of Dr. Arnold Howard. September 13th, 1981. I write this under great duress as the cult have begun to turn hostile towards me. One night, two of the members of the cult, higher up members of the Elder Circle, burst into my room, rifling through my things and demanding they see my manuscript and research. When they discovered my translation tool, they became quite livid and tried to apprehend me. A struggle ensued in which the cultists, mildly drugged by their awful brew, tried to bite and scratch me. I managed to escape through a hidden exit I'd constructed behind one of the library bookcases, fortunate enough to have my backpack on hand as I ran through the estate. And the inebriated cultists were unable to keep up with their shambling movements. I've been hiding out on the edge of the estate, finding a small cove near the shore to take shelter in. It is here that one can really get a sense of the fog that enshrouds this place. Yet even through the mists, I think I can see an island off in the distance, or perhaps a lighthouse of some kind. I've tried to escape by swimming out, but as soon as my feet touch the water, I become violently ill, as if some invisible barrier is forcing me to stay here on this wretched island. So, I'm wondering if this little skelly bag here is uh, our friend Arnold. According to this map, there is a small island not far from here. Interesting. So there's Fog Island. We have Skull Island. Stay away! Uh, the Swamp Lord, uh, whatever that is, and then Escape. Interesting. So by looking at that, what we can do now is we can return to our boat and we can go to Fog I uh, Skull Island. Now Skull Island is completely and utterly optional. 
but we do need to go there to get one of the uh, to get the good endings. But we're going to come here first and get some uh, supplies. Some ammo. Now we can leave right now. We can finish the game if we go examine um, Paul's helicopter. But we're not going to do that. At least not yet. We are going to try and get all the endings. And the longest winded ending is actually the good ending. Well... <sighs> I, mm, I don't know. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit confusing. So there's a good ending, and then there's like a secret, um, like perfect ending, and it's the perfect ending that I'm trying to get. Now, I was hoping to replay this game again uh, on New Game Plus uh, in first person mode and record the differences. However, when you save a clear file in this game, it keeps it as your chosen um, perspective. For us, it's over the shoulder, which is really, really annoying. So if I want to play New Game Plus again, I've got to use this over the shoulder mode. Um, if I want to do first person mode, I've got to pick a brand new fresh game, which is fine, but then I'm going to have to complete the game twice. Yeah, really, really silly you ask me but hey I guess it is what it is anyway because we took a peep at the map we now find ourselves on Skull Island there's an old gramophone here so let's save the game so yeah I mean that's where I last saved it and uh, I actually saved it here which was my final save, which was where we had just got to the cathedral, which you're going to see in a minute. And then I loaded my save and it showed me the end of the game, which gave me this clear thing here. Uh, okay. It's kind of making me question a lot of things, to be honest, but whatever. Let's go and explore the island. So I find it interesting that this is completely optional. And I actually like that. I like the amount of hidden endings there are in this game. Well, that's ominous. Very ominous. I guess we're not going to worry about it too much here. And look at that off in the distance. The cathedral. Hmm, very spoopy. Well, good thing there's a portal just ahead of us because we need to go and get ourselves prepared for this place. This place, well, being the headquarters of the enemy is pretty intense, as you would expect. But I'm pretty confident we can get through it. Now, like I say, I haven't really got that far into this place. So, I'm not sure what sort of challenges we're going to find within. Or maybe the game is just going to let me <laughs> see another ending next time I load it. I, I don't know at this point. Alright. Ah, now I've completed the game. I can actually buy the pistol. Huh. Interesting. I can't actually afford the pistol, even though we've already gone through the game. I'm guessing if I do buy it, that pistol's going to have unlimited ammo. And when I go to replay this game and get, you know, see what the differences are, I am going to be using the unlimited weapons and stuff like that, because why the hell not? Okay. Let's grab the shotty. Let's put that back for now. Probably don't need two bandages. Uh, we're going to put the advanced ammo back. Because I don't think we need them. And we do need some item slots here. Our health isn't exactly great, but what are you going to do? Let's ride. Mm, we could potentially drop the ointment, but it's fine. We'll hold on to it for now. 
This is going to be my last video of the set anyway. Unfortunately. Because, um, you know, this game has is, is been a lot of fun. As janky and as messy as it is, it has been a lot of fun. Once the eclipse is complete, the transformation will be final. We will inherit both worlds, and I will be the warden of it. Oh, I see we have some visitors. Someone deal with these pests. I must tend to the final preparation. Mm hmm. You weren't exactly uh, super stealthy. I wonder who that woman could be in the bondage gear. I wonder indeed. Now, if we stay still here, we can fight these one-on-one, -on -one, more or less. Which is going to make things a lot easier. There we go. We've already taken two of them out. These guys suck. They really do eat up an awful lot of ammo here. Ow, thank you. But we shall adapt and endure. One left. Oof, okay. I, that, that got a little bit dicey for a minute. Ah, okay, now we've got that. There are some goodies tucked up around here. So, might as well go harvest all of those. Yeah, this game is so jank, man. Like, I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys develop next. But I'm hoping... Um, with a higher budget, maybe some more staff, they can do a bit better quality control. Uh, it's almost shocking. You know, how many problems... Uh, and the thing is, I think what it boils down to is the price of the game. This game is not cheap at all you know it's it's on the verge of 40 pounds is it worth it i think so but i mean that's up to everybody to make their own decision uh it, it's a lot of money for a game that's in the state that it's in i can't see it being um patched either to be honest with you i mean it's already a couple of years old but we've seen the master now. That scumbag is going to pay for everything. This must be the Kool-Aid that turned all these people into monsters. I can smell a strong mixture of chemicals. How can anybody drink this? And why? Well, because they're brainwashed. And to be honest, they sort of don't have any choice. I really like this area. This area is so pretty. It's really fancy. Getting strong Resident Evil 4 vibes from this game again. Anywho, let's advance. So we've got 66 left. We're not doing too great on the uh, cheap expendable ammo, are we? Lock is jammed and I can't open this door. Oh no. That is unfortunate. And look at this. We have a room full of blood with lots of sacrificial lambs impaled. How do you even collect that much blood and keep it flowing without it coagulating? Black magic, of course, is the correct answer. So it looks like we've got a few choices of ways to go. We're going to go this way first. I haven't actually explored the rest of the cathedral yet. Evening. Let's start taking these guys out. I really am missing my knife right about now. And it looks like we've got an axe wielder. 
Let's give him some uh, bolts in the back. He'll like that. I know he will. Don't want to waste too many, though. He's not the most accurate chap. Come on, baby. How many more do you want? There we go. I think we wasted one there, but that's fine. Right, what have we got tucked away around here, then? Apart from zombies. Well, we'll certainly take those. Brings us back up to nearly 50. We've got some shotgun shells here. Lovely. We'll certainly squirrel those away. Look, you're getting a little bit too close for my liking, friend. I'm not sure if you can ever get a one-hit kill with the uh, crossbow on zombies. Which is unfortunate. Okay, you know what, pal? We do need to thin your numbers out just a little bit. Just to give us some breathing room. A couple of handgun magazines. Sure, I suppose. And leave those for now. I don't think we've got much else to explore here. Yeah, all right, buddy. Pipe down. For God's sakes. Nobody wants to listen to your nonsense all night. I don't think there's anything else in here left for us to ex exploit. Just him. We can leave him. All right. Fine. Let's go take a wander down here, shall we? Interesting. Hello, buddy. Hello. Come on, then. Let's be having you. Let's see what this uh, master's hospitality is all about, shall we? I don't think he liked that that much. Right, he's gone. 30 left. That's fine. Ooh, to you too, pal. Maybe we should end his uh, torment, but maybe not. So what have we got down here? Mm, lots of barrels. Barrels of brew, maybe. Barrels of wine would be nice. This thing is alive, sleeping in this coffin. I need to get the hell out of here. Oh, my dear, we have only just arrived. How could you be so eager to leave already? So these guys are living like vampires. You know what? Let's switch up to that. Living like vampires. Very curious. Ooh, look at this. This is fancy. Some kind of dark voodoo doll. Hmm. Looks like a teddy, doesn't it? Could this be the place where their master rests? Maybe. Maybe that is the master's coffin. And that is the uh, woman's coffin. Maybe it is. Uh-oh. Well, at least we've got a nice little firing lane. Let's see if we can't thin the herd before they get to us. A little bit. Ooh, unfortunately. Took a hit there. That's okay. So we've got ourselves a plaque. Curious. Unfortunately, we have used all of our bowgun ammo, which may or may not be a problem. But what I like about this game is, um, although you feel like you're getting a lot of ammo, you do go through it. You know, there was a point where um, I actually thought we were going to be able to drop the handgun completely. But no. Uh, even though we would had mountains of ammo saved up for it, 
You, you're never comfortable with ammo in this game. Anyway, let's continue through here. Ah. Small lock on that door, huh? Curious. Ooh, nice. We'll take it. Ah. Interesting. Well, let's see if we can't thin this guy down with the bow gun. See if we can wait for him. Come on then, you putrid sack of shit. Let's be having ya. Come on, baby. Okay, we got one left. Yeah, right. Interesting. Didn't quite have the gumption to fill a, finish him off. Worth knowing. That sure did, though. You can't go wrong with a shotgun to the face. That does seem to be... Ooh. The way to deal with these cultists. He was greedy, though. Greedy bastard. Look at that. Sucked down everything we offered him. Dick. Well, he's dead now, so... Ooh. And he has some shotgun shells for us. Which is awfully convenient, because that's the thing that we s seem to need. There's in rather short supply around here. Anyway, let's have a look in this room. Looks like we have a save room. Very nice. Excerpt from the Journal of Dr. Arnold Howard. August 18th, 1988. State of change brought upon the special Alexa, but without the special essence, ascension will not be possible. This is another san uh, stanza that I have deciphered so far. From what I have uncovered, it sounds like the master is trying to harness some arcane power he believes comes from a special person. My time among what I now know, what I now believe is a religious cult of the most extreme variety has grown tense. It appears that they are trying to formulate a kind of liquid nostrum that puts the consumer into some sort of trance-like state. On the two occasions that I have happened upon these rituals, I have noticed some of the members become violent, their fine motor skills reduced, but clawing at and something even, wait, clawing at, clawing at and something. This game could have used some proofreading, I think. Uh, sometimes even biting each other in their inebriation. They do not know that I have spied upon their rituals. At least, I don't think they've seen me. Yet their attitude towards me has grown quite hostile. Perhaps they have discovered my translation efforts, as they were confident I could not decipher their leader's insane ramblings. I think it would be wise to conclude my research soon. Yeah, well, unfortunately, Mr. Howard. I think you ran out of time. And look, we have two discs here. Two separate discs and a small key. So I think it's about time to conclude our time together. But there is one more thing I want to show you before we do. And that, my friends, is this. We finally find something quite interesting through this door. It is the save room. The Plutus box room. Feel like I'm being watched. Well, you kind of are, to be fair. Right, what have we got here? I wish we had enough money to buy that, just to see if it is unlimited. I'm going to assume that it is. Got the 30 handgun rounds. Maybe we'll swap that out for the handgun now. Just because we need, we do need something to handle the weaker enemies. Yeah, we are up to a healthy amount of ammo, to be honest. I'm guessing we don't need that just yet. 
We don't need that. We can pull the save discs through. And with that, guys, actually, let's put that back. Yeah, that's a little bit healthier, isn't it? Okay, we've got 55 rounds for the handgun. Should be enough for dealing with zombies and things. And with that, guys, I'm going to save the game. And that's going to end the set here. So, thank you very much for watching. When we return, we're going to continue exploring this castle. Or this cathedral, whatever you want to call it. Yep, you can even see by the timer there. I, I will show it at the end of this LP. The, uh, the weirdness that happened when I loaded that save. But yeah, so we, we completed the game in 11 hours and like 10 minutes or something, uh, apparently. But obviously, we're already way longer than that. And we're, we, we haven't completed the game yet. Not even close, I don't think. So yeah, who knows? Anyway, till next time, guys.